going on guys happy halloween um today is officially the halloween event i know a lot of us were shocked when we saw that that they were going to do a halloween event because it's oasis but it's here and it's actually you know a thing so let's get right into it we're going to see what's going on so with this halloween event we did get the introduction to the ukiyo resurrection boss which they've been hinting at for a couple weeks now he is going to be the boss for this halloween event i'm wondering if he's going to be the boss maybe for christmas as well um you know is it going to be like a holiday thing or like event kind of boss or is he going to be maybe put in a rotation with eisen so we're gonna do we're gonna see um moving forward from here but once you do beat him <clears throat> you're gonna be able to get some pumpkins which you are going to be able to go into the limited time pumpkin exchange halloween store and get some items here so we, you are going to have some characters um sanketsu urahara again ichigo and then we also got some soul orbs we got some zanpaktos here we got kenpachi zanketsu urahara ichigos and then we got the sr ssr exclusive weapon choice pack for the warsaw we got the warsaw of the raft which in my opinion is the second best dps warsaw and then we have some emblem choice packs tome choice packs some omni shards essence relic sources crystals soul stones decent gift boxes soul stone pouches gold and jades so uh it's basically just like another coin exchange except it's you know uh halloween oriented so that's nice and it is going to be here for it looks like about nine days and then you are going to be able to uh kind of battle ukiora for it looks like about seven days so you are going to be able to get one of these UR characters if you need them. If you want to, you know, get 20 shards, it's up to you. Um, in my opinion, I would probably go for Gin and Zanketsu. Gin is an extremely good character. Uh, and then Zanketsu, he helps out the team as well. He's another hard-hitting character. So Gin, for sure, is the, who I'm going to be going for. And, yeah... Aside from that, for Zompok Toes, they're very expensive. They need to bring that price down so it just can be a little bit more farmable, easy for us to get some weapons. Same thing with these Warsaws. But let's get right into the Ukiora boss and see his rate skill. So it's going to deal 100% damage to an enemy column. So it's going to be a column. For his normal attack, it says 100% damage to a single target. And then Ukiura's attack increases upon taking damage. So every time you do a certain amount of damage, you he's going to be able to do a, more damage. Then I was able to get 21 pumpkins. With uh, this team that I'm about to show you guys. And I'm going to go over them and show you guys why I'm using them and whatnot. But this is basically the same team that I'm using in the Eyes and Boss event. You know, dots are going to be extremely useful in a PvE boss setting because... These uh, certain characters are going to buff dots by a lot. And then you have Warsaw that buff dots by a lot. So it's just... They, dots are the way to go in a PvE ball setting for sure. Um, I do have to check out other teams. Because, you know, we did get introductions to new characters. Maybe some new characters are going to be able to change the meta. Maybe change uh, certain formations. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of testing. But as of right now, this is the team that I'm going for. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to do a little bit of testing and see if there's any characters that I think might be able to do a little bit better. But, um, yeah, this is basically the same team that uses the Eyes and Boss event. Um, I was kind of hoping that Ukiora's Resurrection would have like a little bit, maybe some kind of different kind of gimmick. Um, whenever he does use his Rage skill, he does transform again. So that's something that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I was, I was kind of a little bit more excited because I thought they were... I was kind of hoping like maybe I could change my team a bit. That would be uh, kind of cool if Oasis changed that. You know, being able to change your team, be able to use different characters, that'd be nice. But um, we're gonna see if this is gonna be a like a, in a rotation or just maybe an event thing. And then I want to say that this was probably like my fourth or fifth run. I never settle for the first run because I know RNG takes plays a huge factor in like master skills. So sometimes. You know, and, and same thing with the boss, you know, he'll hit random characters and sometimes he'll tr I'll be able to trigger maybe like five rage skills in the, the third round or maybe I'll only be able to trigger three. So that is something that I definitely take into consideration, guys, if you are going to do this, don't just settle for the first run. Tr give it a couple tries, see how far you can go. More likely you can go farther than what you think you can go. And yeah. 
Um, so we're gonna have to go over these characters. I think the only standalone character as of right now that's not really helping out the team as much is gonna be Ishin, but he is an extremely hard hitting character. Adam dropped that in the comment section for me like a couple months ago. And I've just never went look back on him. He's just been hitting so hard. Sometimes he hit, I think he, I've seen him hit for like 15K, not, no, I'm sorry, not 15K, 15 mil off a of rage skill. So that's why I, he's just like the only standalone character. Everybody else kind of buffs each other up. And then as of right now, I don't think I have anyone at, I think the only one that I have at red plus one is Gin. Everybody else is probably at red, and I think Ishin's the only one that's still orange plus five. It's been a real grind trying to get these characters up to red plus one, and then with all the new characters that are coming out, I'm just trying to level them up because I just want to try out all these new formations. I got different ideas for them, so. Uh, the next time, well, no, Aizen's coming right after. Aizen's coming for me tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna have to start leveling up these characters just to see how far I can go. But yeah, there are some changes I definitely would like to see for these boss events. Um, I would probably want to see like some kind of ranking system and maybe like a source, a score system as well. You know, maybe like you can farm the bosses so you're able to get like certain skins. That'd be nice. And by the score system, I mean like let's say like let's make it uh, like a score of 1,000. So you get like 21. I get 21 pumpkins. Um, if I get to a thousand pumpkins, maybe I get some, that's just a hypothetical number. It doesn't have to be a thousand, but let's just say like 200. Um, once I hit like 100, I get like a tome choice pack or an emblem choice pack or so, or, you know, something to help out levels, level up characters, because that's an, ex that's a big issue that we see right now. But yeah, let's go right into the characters and then we'll go into the tell you my thoughts and views on this uh, Halloween event and I would love to hear you guys thoughts and views on the Halloween event as well so uh, yeah so let's start with Gen because he is the only one I have at red plus one I think I just got him there today so he's sitting at 41k 41 4 yeah 419k health 70k attack and then 13k defense he is having a five star gear all around i've been working on his bonds a bit especially now too because she's one of my hardest hitting characters and then uh i think he's like at five what what is this five i think yeah he's at five four for the the armor as well and then let's go over the warsaws that i do have on so i do have a warsaw of crippling so he's going to be the one because he's able to proc two dots, I put the Warsaw Crippling on him just so hopefully the, one of those dots will have a chance to proc this Crippling. And I have the Warsaw of the Tides just so that he can continuously get his Rage skill. And I want him to proc this Crippling. If I can proc this Crippling, this is going to be able to deal an extra 15% more damage for two rounds. So that's going to be great. And the Digital Warsaw is going to level up his um, damage rate. Let's see, and then let's go over his skills. Um, his passive is basically the reason why he, he's gonna he's gonna be extremely useful. Rage skill damage deals not that part. When he is alive, all allies' damage increased by 10% when attacking bleeding targets. I have now in a formation who's able to proc bleed in the beginning of battle, so this is automatically a thing as soon as the battle starts. So very useful, guys. And I do have his awakened um, weapon. So it's going to be able to deal bleed for two rounds, and then he has a 75 chance of proccing a poison, which is nice. Being able to proc two dots is extremely useful, especially for a dot. Dot team. Master skill deals damage to a single target, increased crit chance by 25%. I also have Kampachi in there, whose uh, rate skill boosts the back row's crit chance, so it's going to boost his crit chance by a good amount. He's going to be able to have a pretty decent crit chance. And just in case you guys are wondering, where his crit chance is right now. His crit chance is at 31%. I've been leveling up like Heroic Warsaw, so that's why it's at the level it is right now. Some of you guys are probably wondering, like, how is it so... I, this is, I guess, so kind of high, I guess. 31% is a fairly decent. You know, I don't have a Warsaw that level that gives me crit chance. This just gives me 1,500... Uh, yeah, 
1500 attack plus 12 percent so yeah that's going to be my crit chance as of right now with that mastery skill i'm going to be up to like 55 56 percent and then with kampachi uses that race skill i'm going to be uh, at 70 percent so he's most likely going to land a crit then moving on to now this is my i think she's my hardest hit. yeah she is my hardest hitting character and i put a lot of work into her if you guys as you guys can see i put all my resources into her right side bonds because we don't have the left side bonds yet so i put as of right now from what i've noticed she's the only character that has five attack bonds so when i saw that i was like well i definitely got to put some effort into her because that's going to play a huge factor especially the way she's built she's very good for pv But she has a, let's go over the gear. So he has one red five star um, weapon for this mask. It's going to be what? Four star, four star, five star. And then for the emblem, it's going to be four, three star. I haven't worked on that yet. And then at, yeah, at orange plus four. She's sitting at 428k um, health and then 83k attack. So I definitely, I'm trying to boost her attack because that's going to help out pump out more damage in the bleed. She has 14k defense. And then for the War Souls, I do have a War Soul of Crimson, which is going to increase bleed damage by 75%. And then I have the War Soul of Rage. She has an extremely hard hitting mastery skill. So that's why Uryu is a perfect one to go with her. Any character that has a very good mastery skill, you're going to want to put Uryu on them. And then let's dig right into her uh, skill. So for the mastery skill, deals damage to a single target, ignores 50% of the target's defense, which is huge. I, I don't know if you guys realize this, you're, you're cutting the target's defense in half. You're making them very squishy. That's the reason why I like this mastery skill. And I team that up with Uryu because it's gonna boost mastery skill damage by 50%. And then we also have talents that boost mastery skill damage. So we're boosting up mastery skill damage by a good amount, especially on her. Deals additional damage to the target equal to 30% of Nell's attack multiplied by the number of blade stacks. So that's another reason why we want to boost that attack on her. This is going to help out her master skill damage. Resource HP equal to damage dealt this way. There is a 15% chance to stun the target. Not really looking to stun um, Ukiora. In my opinion, I want him to rage as often as I can. I'm, I have no problem staying alive. That way I can build up some rage whenever he does rage on me. Now I do have the Awakened Weapon, which it was a no-brainer for me. Deals damage to all targets, plus an additional 120% bonus damage to the primary target. So since only one boss, he's going to deal 120% bonus damage. Adds two stacks of bleed, not one anymore, two because the weapon's awakened. For two round, has a 50% chance to stun. And then let's see, the bleed effect added to target damage them immediately when inflicted. If there is only one enemy on the battlefield, this attack deals 20% of Nell's current HP and damage. So you're going to want to have, you know, the Hime Warsaw or something to heal on her just so she can have her health at a decent place so you can deal more damage. Now for the passive in the beginning of battle, inflicts bleed on all enemies for two rounds. Amazing, teamed up with Gen. You're automatically getting that 10% buff damage. After releasing a rage skill damage, the damage rate of all allies is increased for two rounds. So most of the time I'll use her first to boost everybody's damage rate up and then I'll go with my rotation. The ally with the lowest HP receives an additional damage reduction rate for one round. So it's going to make them a little bit more survivable by reducing damage for them. And then so that the start of battle, her effect accuracy is increased by 10%. Not a big deal because I haven't really tried to see him. I don't really need to. But yeah, that's going to be her. Then we have Kampachi. He's sitting at 390k, 291k health, 81k attack, 13k defense. And then for his uh, gear, he's got one. This was a 7-star weapon. That's red. Everything else is going to be 6-star at orange plus 4. For the Warsaw, I have the Warsaw of Azora, which is going to increase that attack by 12%, damage reduction rate by 15. I am putting him in a front row, and then you're going to see why in a, in a minute. Initial Rage, 
by 200 almost making him like a baby or Zora dragon and then I got the Warsaw of soaring on him which is gonna increase the um, increase allies a damage rate by 12% and attack by 600 so that's gonna be good as well it's gonna be for three rounds and then his Warsaw his heroic Warsaw looks like something I'm gonna have to work on because it does say increased attack by like 2% so let's get into his master skill. It has a dual effect, which is great because it's going to be able to do more damage the less enemies are on the field. 60% more damage on defense specialty characters. Now I do, I did get his awakened weapon when we, when I saw that. I'm pretty sure everybody else who saw that was like, yeah, I'm getting this. It's a must. We've been waiting for this for a while now. So deals damage to an enemy column reduces the target's defense by 30%, which is a nice debuff for the boss for one round. Increases crit chance to self by 30% and allied by grow by 20% for one round. That's the reason why I had him in the front row because he's going to be able to boost himself by 30%. I figured, well, let me hit four characters instead of just three. So I got him in the front row. And then he's going to be able to get hit more often if he's in the front row, giving me a, a bigger chance to proc that rate skill, which is going to reduce that defense. For that passive when he is alive he increases the damage rate of all allies he also increases squad 11 members crit chance by 30 percent not a big deal because i don't have anybody but he increases everybody's damage rate by eight percent might not be a big deal but every little bit helps next character up is going to be zangetsu so he's sitting at 353k health 75k attack 12k defense and then we got three star gear all around we got orange plus five, orange plus three, orange plus three, and then orange plus three. I just started leveling up the bonds on the right side. That is something I'm probably going to have to work on, especially with the Zanchu two tone. I'm going to have to, probably going to wait a bit. I don't want to rush because it is a grind to get some of these tomes and emblems. So that is something I'm going to have to wait on. For the Warsaw, I do have a Warsaw of Wrath. With the attack, um, with the attack specialty on it, I really want a crimson. I might try a crimson on tomorrow to see what does better. But this is going to increase uh, his attack by 1500, crit chance by 15%, and then damage rate. Then for him, I have the um, Ichigo Warsaw, which is going to boost that rate skill damage by 12% for two rounds. So if I'm able to get a rate skill damage in those two rounds, which I'm going to have to see if I'm going to have to, if I'm able to get, because if I don't. I'm just gonna swap that out for something else. Deals now his mastery skill damage deals damage to a single enemy and inflicts bleed effect for two rounds, 20% chance of stun. There's also a 60% chance to gain 150 rage, so that's gonna be nice. Deals damage to an enemy column, deals a bleed for two rounds, reduces the target's rage by 250 points, so that's why he um, didn't rage as often. He's the only character that's reducing the rage for right now. And then 70% of this decreased rage points are transferred to himself. So that's another nice thing. And then for his mastery skill damage, when he is alive, he increases the rage skill damage of all allies, which is a real nice boost. As of right now, level 83, rage skill damage is increased by 13%. So it's going to be a nice little buff that we're going to have the entire time for rage skill damage. And when an ally does receive fatal damage, there's a 5% chance to be reborn. So that's the reason why he's in my formation and then we got Ukiyor here started working on him a little bit so he's sitting at 470k at Tauf 54k attack 13k defense and then three star gear all around orange plus two this is probably something that I can work on right now but I'm gonna have to think about that might work on it right now and then Let's go over the Warsaw. So for him, I do have a Warsaw of the Eye. Being able to ignore a 60% uh, of a target's defense is huge. It's gonna, it's a game changer. You're gonna be able to do a lot of damage. So he's not really dealing that, that much damage. That's why I put this Warsaw on him. Um, and then for character Warsaw, I do have an Odahime Warsaw just for the healing. 
Now for the skills, mastery skill, damage deal, damage to a single target, recovers 15% of missing HP, which isn't that big a deal. It's only good whenever he's sitting at like low health, it gets a little bit bigger. Increase the effect reduction rate by 1%. For I do have his awakened weapon, deals damage to an enemy uh, column of enemies, restores 28% of missing HP, inflicts burning for two rounds, deals an extra 3% damage to targets for each stack of dot. And restores 3% of missing HP. Front row allies damage reduction rate increases by 15% chance. So it's going to make that front row a little bit more tankier. And then this is the main reason why we have Yuzu Giora, why he's a, why he's a very good PVE character, especially for boss um, events. All allies dot damage increased, increases greatly when deployed at the beginning of each round. Solita Vista marks a random enemy for one round, and you're going to be able to deal 10% more damage. Now... Uh, also, the ally is going to be recovered 2.5% of their max HP. Not a really big deal. That's not the main reason why we have this him in the team. It's because of this 10% extra damage is why we use him. And then that increases that effect. So it's going to increase by 45%, which is huge. In fact, they're in like a gold crimson, which is boosting it up by another 70. That's, that's a lot of damage that those dots are going to be able to do, especially bleed. Um, and then, yeah, that's what the fifth character one two three four five and now let's go right into Ishin. like i said he's my only standalone character he dishes out a lot of damage he's by far probably my he is my weakest character but he, he's able to dish out so much damage that's the reason why i have him in there so he's sitting at 320k attack 52k no 320k health 52k attack 11k defense uh, for the gear, three star gear all around. This is something that I could probably work on right now. Um, orange plus five weapon, and everything else is orange plus three. And then the emblem is going to be orange plus two. This is something I pr probably work on right now. But I might be working on Halibel. She is somebody I really want to try out. Uh, for the war souls, I do have a battle soul of Crimson, a purple one. Uh, blue, which is going to increase that bleed damage by 30%. If I had an orange one, that would be great, but I don't. It's really hard for me to get. So I'm hoping they pop up in um, pretty soon. I, I keep getting the same ones. A lot of defensive warsaws I keep getting. So, And then I have the Buyakia Warsaw Gold 5-star, which increases everybody's attack by 3%, damage rate by 3%, bleed damage by 20%. So this is another thing that's going to boost that bleed damage on top of Crimson and then on top of Okiora. Then for his uh, Master Skill, bleeds the target for 2 rounds. For his Rage Skill, deals damage to a column of enemies, grants a 70% chance of inflicting bleed. Lasting for one round on the target and immediately triggers all enemy dots once, which is extremely useful. This is how he's able, to, because of all these dots, him immediately trigger all of them. He's going to be able to dish out an insane amount of damage. Reduces the enemy's attack by 1.5% for every stack of dot. So that's going to be useful in debuffing the boss's attack. And then for his passive, now that I think about it, this is probably something I can work on right now. Well, no, I don't have the gold for it. Whenever an ally, aside from Machine, unleashes a rage scale, Machine gains 100 rage. He has a 53% chance at right now at level 77. So this is nice for when he's like super close to getting a rage scale. You use him last so that you have a chance to proc that rage scale. And then that's going to be it for my team, guys. Everybody's pretty useful together. If there are any characters that you guys would like to see me use, by all means, please drop down in the comment section down below. And I will be more than happy to try them out and give you guys my feedback on that. But yeah, this uh, limited time exchange, I would... Uh, it's... I like that they did a Halloween event. That I definitely do like. I would like this... All this stuff to be a little bit more farmable. And maybe if it's farmable, don't give us all these things at once. Maybe let us have a choice of what we want. Maybe one character. Uh, shards or two. Some soul orbs would be nice. Being able to farm one uh, an SSR exclusive weapon choice pack would be really good. And a warsaw would be nice if we were able to farm that. That's something that definitely I think Oasis could do for us. 
just so we can kind of be better off but with this Halloween event mm, it was a nice attempt for sure you know I like that they at least put in they didn't really put in the effort it's basically just like a coin event with uh, a Halloween um, theme stamped on top of it that's all it really is hopefully for the Christmas if there is gonna be a Christmas event they can improve on this I hope everybody can maybe complain I'm definitely gonna put a suggestion um, on there to make this better like make this free to play make that we're able to farm the boss so that we can like I said have like a score, a score system and once we hit like a certain score we get like a, a reward for it that way it's not just like one time a day we do this we continuously do it and then have a ranking system you know whoever's uh, doing the most DPS you know you get some kind of reward for it if you're making the top 10% you know get some kind of reward for it you know we don't have that many active players so for those who are active you know that's going to be great for us and for those who yeah for those who aren't active you know if you do end up coming back and then somebody falls off you know you take somebody's spot but i think a ranking system would be nice have like a source a, uh, score system something that we can form this and then have all these limited time exchanges farmable and i would love have to see some skins some halloween theme skins that's something that I would really like, you know, being able to just kind of make your character your own, a little bit different from everybody else from the norm. That would be great. So hopefully, I'm definitely going to put a suggestion in the, the official Discord because that's something that I think is strongly recommended. If anybody saw the way it was implemented right, it would be like, yeah, that's a great idea. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about the video. What do you guys think about this Halloween event? I think it was a nice attempt. It's definitely like a step in the right direction, but it needs a lot of improvement. And yeah, if you guys have any uh, questions, comments, please drop in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, have a good one.